voyages. Hope to not find you well, my friends. I am doing fine. Thank you very kindly. Even though I had to work overtime, I guess now that uh, I really don't have anything to do at work, that they're uh, tapping me to do things like driving buses. And uh, before you go, well, HD, I didn't even know you had a CDL. I don't. But our insurance company insures, assure, insures us and assures us that um, we don't have to have an F endorsement to drive a 14-passenger bus. I tend to disagree, but, you know, they don't pay me for my thinking. So uh, every now and then I do a, uh, an AM uh, run to Dalton, which is about 30 miles down and back, down, down, and then back 30 miles. And then, uh, like tonight, it's uh, quote-unquote Wednesday night out, which means that we ferry the, uh, the boarding students that have a care to the Walmart that's about a mile up the road. And uh, I just run shuttle service back and forth between there from uh, 6 to 8. And um, that's about the source of it. It is a beautiful evening. Uh, it is uh, 78 degrees, according to uh, meteorologist Cash. Uh, it feels a little colder than that, actually, at speed, but I got my jacket uh, zipped open. Uh, a thing I rarely do. I don't know why, but... Now, since the accident, I'm going to have... Uh, I'm going to be a little squirrely about gear. Don't you do it. If he'd pay attention to what he was doing, or less attention to what he was doing in driving, I would be a happy fella. But all that aside, it's all good. Knees still give me a little trouble. And I find myself uh, strangely hesitant on low speed maneuvers all of a sudden. I'm going to have to build my uh, confidence back up in that regard. And I've noticed I've got a bit of static feedback on my right speaker. I have my Senna, so I, I don't know if I'm going to have to replace that. Oh wait, the 10C Evo is not coming out. Oh, it's always next month. Something like that. Anyway. This is usually a nice ride home. The traffic is a little bit heavier than I would have anticipated. And while I'm thinking about it, I want to give a shout out and an, an official Heart Attack endorsement to uh, the Moto Nobodies, uh, a group of local and maybe not quasi local um, uh, moto vloggers that have uh, decided to take on the, the onerous task of putting out a podcast every week. And uh, you can subscribe to them via wherever you get your podcasts at, be it uh, iTunes. Be it uh, the Google Play Store or uh, wherever, but it's absolutely free, and I find it rather entertaining. Uh, just four four guys normally that uh, just hang out, ride bikes together, and uh, just hang out. You know, they talk about motorcycles. What more can you ask? So, um, good going, guys. I'm a fan, and I am watching. Uh, yeah, I think it's boring. I'm listening. That's even better. And I wish you all every success. Dang, traffic's heavy tonight. One thing I can tell you with surety is that with my job situation knocking me off my bike, if I had been able to stay on it one more time, I'd have licked it because I have had so much fun uh, riding this thing back around again. Uh, the instant power, the maneuverability. Um, I drive a, a four-door pickup truck and um, it's about as nimble as a house. Um, I can't wait to get uh, old DB back out and see what he can, what he's like again. It'd be like meeting an old friend for the very first time. Come on, any day now. Engage. Impulse power. I 
need to tighten up my highway pegs. They keep flopping down, kinda. And I hear that that can be a problem at, at, in men my age, but I don't think you're supposed to fix it with a ratchet. And I forgot how more readily people get out of my way when I'm on the bike as to when I'm in the truck. You'd think a rearview mirror filled with grill would inspire some. But I ain't gonna inspire this dude. See nothing, officer. And I tell you, this uh, clutch timing has been more of a bear than I would have thought it would have been to get back used to. That maneuver was uh, akin to the touch and goes that you see fighter craft performing on aircraft carriers. You're very welcome. And it was done flawlessly, if I may say. This is what I meant by normal traffic. Arr. I ain't gonna get a touch and go here. This light stays red forever. <laughs> say something boring but many of you have chimed in regarding replacing the helmet or not I will be replacing the helmet um, I'm currently thinking about a uh, Bell revolver uh, modular uh, great reviews uh, it's not much more expensive than this was I paid 130 for this one on sale it's not not a modular and the thing that's always got me about it it looks great uh, I think but whenever you put it on it folds your ears over, so you got to go stuffing your hands up inside the helmet, try to flip your ears back. So uh, that was always a pain, literally. And uh, I will. Uh, I've got the habit of waving too. I want to check that one out. We now have a cycle gear here. Woo! I haven't been yet, but um, you know, in my current situation, I don't need to be spending a whole lot of money on a whole lot of nothing extra. But. I do believe my noggin is worth 200 bucks. I don't think it's worth 600 bucks, but it's worth two. Hmm. I need to ride this bike more often. I ride like a hooligan, you should see me drive.
yelling at a general just so you don't know the way to exactly to my house i'm going to turn this thing off now i hope everyone has a good evening and a good rest of the week and remember ride them if you got them and live long and prosper